Why is frequency hopping used in communication? The options are to talk to more people at once, to protect messages from interference or eavesdropping, to make the message louder, or to save power. What do you think is the correct answer? Yes, you got it right. It's to protect messages from interference or eavesdropping. So why is frequency hopping used in communication? Frequency hopping is employed or used to improve the reliability, security and resilience of wireless communication. Frequency hopping works by rapidly switching the frequency of the signal during transmission, making it difficult for interference or eavesdropping to disrupt or intercept the communication. Let's understand this by a real life example. Imagine you are using Bluetooth headphones to listen to a music, but in a crowded place, place with many people. Now many people around you are using other wireless devices like the Wi-Fi or maybe other Bluetooth headphones or even the cordless phones. So what is the problem when you are not using frequency hopping or without frequency hopping? All these devices share the same frequency band which is 2.4 gigahertz. If one device like a Wi-Fi router sends a strong signal on the same frequency your headphones are using, it can interfere with your music. What is the result? Your music cuts off or becomes choppy. So how does this frequency hopping helps here? How does frequency hopping helps to avoid interference? Your Bluetooth headphones and phone are constantly changing their frequency they use for communication. For example, if frequency A is crowded or becomes noisy, they quickly hop to frequency B or to frequency C and so on, avoiding the interference. How does frequency hopping helps in improving reliability? By not staying on one frequency, your connection remains smooth and uninterrupted, even in a crowded wireless environment. And frequency hopping also enhances the security. How? Eavesdropper or eavesdropping is very, very difficult or almost harder because the signal keeps moving to different frequencies. An attacker would need to predict or anticipate the hopping pattern, which is almost impossible without prior knowledge. Hope it has benefited you. Thank you so much and have a great day.